is up, everybody? And welcome to Rated Excellent on the Go. My name's Exy, and this is usually my little corner of the internet where I like to talk about video games, movies, whatever the fuck I feel like. And for the first time, this episode is being recorded on the go. So that, that's why the audio sounds a little little funky is uh, I'm recording it through my AirPods. I'm not in my usual setup. So hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. I suppose if it does, I'll just have to, uh, I don't know, try to listen back and, you know, maybe re-record it the best I can, make it sound as close as possible. But for now, let's just see how this goes. Uh, I know it's not going to be, you know, just as clean as I usually put stuff out. It's, I, I know there's some some wind noise that is probably getting picked up, but hopefully it's not too bad. Maybe I can even reduce it out during editing or something. But anyway, I decided moments before hitting record that you know, I just start giving like a little little update before I get into the actual topic. So, like, you know, just some quick things like what am I playing, what am I watching, that type of thing. So, as far as what I'm playing is, I actually hopped on Twitch a couple of days ago and streamed for about an hour. I started a playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. If you're interested, I I don't really know when I'll be streaming, but I post on Twitter when I do stream, or X, or whatever the fuck it's called now. So, I, that's probably the best way to find out. And I do post the VODs on YouTube, or I will be, uh, when there's more than one to post. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm doing a, a, a playthrough of Fire Red. Honestly, the first, I know it's technically like Gen 3, I think, or Gen 4. I don't, I don't know where it falls in, but I know it's with Diamond and Pearl, wherever that is. I guess that'd be Gen 3, Diamond, Pearl, Emerald. Yeah, that's probably right. Uh, but as far as like the actual adventure, it's the Gen 1 adventure. And it's the first time I'm doing the Gen 1 adventure since, damn, probably the... Pokemon Blue pay playthrough, which was like the second Let's Play I did after breaking off from TOC altogether. Or was it the first? Is either that or Kirby's Adventure? Either way, it's been a few years since I've played Gen 1 Story, and I've never actually played Fire Red or Leaf Green through to its entirety. We tried to do a Leaf Green playthrough before, but it just fucking fell through. But yeah, I I wanted to start that earlier, but I decided that um, with what I went over in the la in the mini episode that just came out about how it was the Christmas rush season at my real job, so I knew that I would be very limited on what I would be available to do, you know, as far as recording or even streaming. So I decided to hold off till the beginning of the year, and I just kind of pulled the trigger. I wasn't really planning to do that stream was just like you know what i'm ready to start let's fucking do this let's fucking go and uh yeah i was all i only streamed for like an hour it was cool but that playthrough is uh not that any of my content is really you know clean and kid friendly but that one is definitely not going to be safe for work. Um, when I was editing the VOD, I did decide to kind of blur out one of the possible names that was chosen, but was then changed. That should give you an idea. You know, just no little kids. <laughs> uh, aside from Pokemon Fire Red, I'm also playing like just just for me, like, no no content. I mean, I'll probably do a review of it, I'm sure, at some point. But, like, as far I'm not recording anything from it. But 
I'm going back and playing uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, the first time I played it, I played it as Leon A, Claire B. And now I'm just doing like a casual playthrough as Claire A, Leon B. And uh, damn, I forgot how good that game really is. Like, it just looks so good and it plays good. Now, I will say, I am kind of cheating. You know, I've got the uh, the infinite ma- ammo uh, SMG unlocked. So I definitely uh, pulled that out of the item box when I got there to the police station. And I'm just kind of like cheesing the way through, which I'm also like kind of sort of trying to get the achievement for not using any healing items. If I end up having to use something, that's fine. But like even to like prevent that from happening, I'm just not picking anything up right now. And just hoping that I can, you know, spray everything down with the SMG before it gets close enough to damage me. We'll see what happens when I get to the liquor store. And I'm trying my damnedest to not bring in Mr. X until the absolute last possible minute. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've been playing lately. Uh, As far as what I've been watching, I'm looking for some new Let's Players on YouTube to follow. I found a few here in the last few months that I've been checking out, uh, just to name a couple of them. Uh, there's a channel called Fill in the Blanks. He's pretty cool. Um, oh, there was a, another one. I think her channel, uh, it's a it's a VOD channel. She she streams on Twitch, but I think her channel name is Selena VODs. Something like that. But Yeah, they, they're both kind of entertaining and... I've just kind of like been checking out some of their back catalog, you know, either as background noise or while I'm like decompressing before bed. And then still making the way through X-Files. I think we're on, I think we just started season four. So I got to go back and look up whether the movie takes place between four and five. Or between five and six. But I know we're getting close to the first movie. So, really looking forward to that. But as far as what I've been up to, gaming and watching-wise, that is pretty much it. So, maybe now we can get into this week's topic, which is how I feel about New Year's resolutions. Spoiler, they're fucking stupid. Now, don't get me wrong. The people who are actually like legitimately serious about I'm going to take a stand and really focus on my health and you know I'm overweight or I'm out of shape, I really need to drop some pounds, build up my cardio. Those people and then they actually follow through or at least attempt to and you know continue to do something i'm not saying they got to be you know american gladiator or whatever but they at least try to stick to a regiment those type of resolutions i'm fully behind but then the people that are like yep i'm gonna buy a treadmill and i'm gonna walk 15 miles every day and then you get that treadmill and you walk two miles or so in on the first one and go, wow, that's really hard. Uh, I think I'm going to skip tomorrow. I think you might come back once or twice more. And that's the end of it. Those are the type of New Year's resolutions that I think are stupid, where you just spend a stupid amount of money and then it just collects dust or becomes a junk pile. Which is where it ties into why I had to do the mini sode first. Because the amount of fucking stupid shit that people order that they're never going to use is just... Oh, it would drive you nuts. 
Obviously, I can't say where or name any names or really get too specific. But I, I don't know what it, there must have been like some kind of fucking TikTok trend or something about having a home gym this year that I don't know about because the amount of fucking gym equipment that got delivered over the Christmas season is crazy. Yeah. Two examples right off the top of my head is, and one of them is still getting shit. One particular person I know has received at least 150 pieces, like, individual packages ranging from you know small little disc weights all the way up to the huge fucking racks I mean at least 150 pieces and, and I'm just talking about package count I don't know how many individual pieces of equipment are inside each package and he's still getting stuff Like, dude, are you are you building your own Planet Fitness or Gold's Gym in, in your garage? Like, what the fuck, dude? And then another one that I know about, what wasn't 150 pieces, but it was like eight pieces. But they were very large pieces. And apparently the little old lady came out and met the guy. And told him that that was a Christmas present for her husband, who's like 80-something or 70-something. And he needs a walker to get around, and he's on oxygen. Now, if he could really use that stuff, and that's going to help him out, you know, with not having to use the walker or maybe the oxygen anymore... That's fantastic. But, I mean, that just seems irresponsible and a little dangerous. Also, who's going to put this stuff together? Oh, and then bicycles. Bicycles are the worst. People will order like a whole family set of bicycles. Like you got the mom and the dad and the three kids. They all get brand new bicycles. And then, you know, we see them out riding around the first few weeks of January, maybe into February. But as it starts to get hot, those bikes get parked up against the side of the house. And they never move again. Or trampolines. Trampolines get put together. It's like maybe they get jumped on for a couple of months. And then they just sit there and collect leaves and mildew or I don't know, whatever happens when it gets rained on too much and it gets like that weird green slime shit on it. Just now that's that's more of a Christmas present, not a New Year's resolution. But the, the like the bicycle thing is probably we're gonna spend family time together, which you know that's cool and all, but she's not really gonna stick to it. And then all the people that like try to get into gardening and stuff, like this, this is the year I'm gonna plant a garden, and gonna get all these uh, garden pot plant, uh, like wash tub looking things. Or compost, I don't know, made out of pallets. Like it's, it's like a box, but it's made out of pallets. And you start composting, and then the whole thing rots, and it's fertilizer, whatever. Just and then and then we just watch it sit there all year long. Just some of it still in the fucking box. Like you never even opened it. And that that's that's what's really fucking crazy about it. It's like you committed to buying it 
but you can't even commit to opening it to even try to put it together. So you were never serious about that New Year's resolution. That's why I think New Year's resolutions are stupid. And then, like, this is no longer related to the delivering part of it, but people who swear they're going to quit drinking. But on New Year's Day, which is January 1st of the new year, you're still drinking wine or beer and shooting off fireworks. Oh, it doesn't count yet because it's New Year's Day. Okay, cool. A couple weeks in January go by. Oh, you know, come over for the football game. Hey, you want a beer? Crack. Thought you weren't drinking anymore. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not drinking. This is, I, I decided I'm allowed to have beer while the football game's on or the NASCAR game or race or whatever. I'm not a sports guy. So then you start making excuses of like, oh, I can cheat during this time and I can do it during this time. And before you know it, you're just completely fucking back into the old habit. It was a nice effort, but not good enough. And I used to make New Year's resolutions too. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I've I've tried to go down the path of, yep, I'm going to get in shape, going to work on cardio, joined a gym a couple of times, stuck with it for a couple of months. Then I just kept paying for the gym membership for probably three more months, I don't know, before canceling it. Tried to get a couple of the, the home equipment things, like the, I don't know what it is, the, it's the machine, elliptical maybe, it's, the one that's like doing cross country skiing, but yeah, it just falls by the wayside. And on top of that, everybody's just so busy. I mean, there's just not enough time to do stuff like that anymore. Like, I guess if you want to get super technical, recording this podcast was my New Year's resolution. Like, I'm going to commit to trying my damnedest to get out an episode every week, which is actually kind of what put me in this predicament here where I'm having to record it while driving. Now, like I said at the beginning, I'm recording it. My AirPods phone is hands-free, completely out of the view. We're good. We're safe. But yeah, I mean, I've done the New Year's resolutions. I've, even made like some gaming resolutions like this will be the year that I do every fucking thing I can to get all the achievements and I don't know, Halo 3 or whatever, which I did do, but that had nothing to do with New Year's resolution. And also, I guess maybe perhaps a story for another day or a mini episode, but I 100%ed uh, Halo 3 on an account that I can't even access anymore, which kind of pisses me off, because I did it like OG style, like I was amongst a rare group that had the Hayabusa armor, legitimately. And then like I guess that's a story for another day, but I can't access that account anymore. But yeah, I, I don't even know where the like the New Year's resolution idea came from, like who decided that on this arbitrary day of January 1st of blank, blank year, that's when, that's the only day that you can decide to make a change. Like, yep, this is going to be the year that I, I don't know, um, quit eating fried foods. That, I mean, that, that's a, that's a healthy endeavor. It's a very non-delicious endeavor because pretty much everything fried is great. But, you know, I can respect trying to accomplish that. It's good for you. It's very healthy. But why can't you do that on July 17th? Like, I'm going to try my best not to eat fried foods anymore just because it's Tuesday, 
September 21st. Why do, Why does it have to be the beginning of the new year? Like, is it just the mindset that maybe came with actual physical calendars? Like, I'm hanging a new calendar on the wall, so this is like the embodiment of my clean slate, and now let me try to go all these days without doing what I'm setting out to. Is that where it came from? Is that the thing? Because if that's really what it is, I can kind of see where that makes sense. But now that physical calendars aren't really a thing, I mean, yeah, maybe, but I mean, we depend on our phones so much now. I mean, most people just set reminders for everything. So, like, do you wake up every morning and your phone goes, hello, John, reminder, don't eat fried foods today. I mean, is that how you wake up every day? Or something like that? I don't know, guys. Just at this point, I could be rambling. I just think if you're really going to commit to doing something, it shouldn't have anything to do with an arbitrary day on a calendar. Like, I committed to doing this podcast when I recorded the first test episode. I even said in there that I've been putting this off for like two years. And the hardest fucking step, other than coming up with a name, because coming up with a name is pretty hard. But after that, the hardest fucking step is just hitting record and talking to that microphone. Once you do it the first time, now you can do it again. And again. And again. Until it just becomes part of your routine. And that's how you should be treating anything that you can do with a New Year's resolution. Going back to the guy that drinks beer when football's on. The way you get out of that is watch the football game and don't drink a beer. Just once. And then see if the next time there's a football game on, try not to drink a beer again. Or even start slow. Like if you usually drink three during a game, Try to only drink one. And then next time, try to only drink one. And then after that, maybe just try to drink none. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably a good place to just go ahead and end this. So hopefully this audio doesn't sound like complete shit. And I was able to use some of it, maybe even clean it up in editing, like I said at the beginning. Um, But other than that, I... I really don't want to do too many of these like this because I know it can't be that great. Next one should be in the regular recording space. Plus, I got to do another mini so here soon. But in the meantime, as always, make sure to check the show notes or if you're checking this out on YouTube in the description box. There are some affiliate links to things like Butcher Box and Circle, maybe a couple other things by now that are products that I use. And if you're interested, use them. If you use those links, you get some type of a discount. I'm not exactly sure what it is for each individual one. But if you use it, I also get a little bit of something out of it. Like, um, I think for Circle, for instance, if you sign up using the link, I think I get a free flavor every month that you use it as well or something which would be great because I really love my circle and for the record I was drinking it before fucking Mr. Beast came along I fucking hate that guy but that's definitely a story for another day um but yeah check out those affiliate links uh there is going to be content posted behind the paywall on Patreon very soon but it's nothing that you're super missing out it's just going to be some extra stuff that I want to do that I don't think will just work as a regular like podcast type thing. So if you don't feel the need to ever have to join Patreon, you're not missing anything that's related to this show. It'll be its own complete separate entity. And it's not even like a continuity thing. Each episode will essentially be its own universe. But aside from that, um, I don't know, I guess 
make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow on Twitch because you'll get alerted when I'm randomly streaming there too. At some point, I do wish to work out some type of stream schedule, but for now, it's just random stuff. Anyway, I'm back to the rambling. It's time to end this. Oh, and if this is your first time hearing it, uh, and you like it, add this podcast to, you know, whatever service you're using. I, I'm available on pretty much everything. Spotify, Apple, uh, Google, Amazon, all that stuff. If you found me, obviously I'm available however you're listening. And if you think this is worth it, share it with... Um, Share it with the guy that lives three driveways down from you just because you think he's a nice guy. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's stop. 